Hey everybody. So I've noticed that a lot of you want to drive components that require more power than the board can handle. So to do that, we're gonna to have to use an external power supply with transistors. And I ran through some examples of how to use transistors in class, but I thought I'd make a video for, for y'all to be able to reference. <clears throat> so the transistor that I spoke of in class is this TIP120. Let me focus this. Focus. There we go. And you can buy these at Radio Shack or you can get them online. At Radio Shack, they're about two bucks a pop. Uh, if you get them on the internet, it'll probably be, you know, maybe ten bucks for a pack of ten or so. All right, so. Right now, I've got the um, the blink sketch uploaded to the board, so pin 13 is blinking on and off. So if I grab just a, a standard LED here and plug it into the board, you'll see that it's going to blink on and off. Pretty straightforward. On and off. Okay, so what we want to do now though is we want to drive a higher powered LED such as this LED strip that you see right here. So I've got a 12 volt power supply. Um, let me pull it up here and I'll show you what it looks like. Just one of these guys right here. 12 volts. You can get these you know, anywhere, Best Buy, Axeman, Radio Shack. Uh, just make sure that the voltage of the supply is the same as what you're trying to drive. Um, and then the amperage that you see on the power supply, you want to make sure that the uh, it's going to supply enough amperage for what you want to uh, drive as well. And if you have any questions about that, just send me an email. You need to send me a link to the, the power supply and what you're trying to power up, and I'll let you know if, it, if it'll be suffice. <clears throat> so I'm going to plug this power supply in. And then I'm going to power up this rail over here. So let's call this the, the 12 volt rail over on this side. And we can unplug all this stuff because we want to power the strip. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our trusty transistor right here and I'm going to plug it into the rails. What I'm going to do is bend it back so that you can you can kind of see it there. All right. Next thing we want to do is we're going to ground out the transistor. So I'm going to connect the ground of the transistor to the ground rail of the 12 volts over here. And then we also want to have common ground with the board. So I'm going to bring this over to the ground rail on the board as well. Be sure to plug this into ground and not positive. All right, so we're good there. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do is bring data from pin 13. And we're going to plug that into the left pin, or the, I guess the way you're looking at it would be the bottom pin of the, the transistor. All right, so this is the data. And actually, I'm going to make that a white cord just so it's, it doesn't look like it's positive, just so I don't confuse you guys, or myself for that matter. Okay, so now we've got data going to the transistor. And so <clears throat> if we take this LED strip here and I plug it right on into the 12 volt rail right here, it's just, it's just going to power up, obviously. 
So let me get this in here. Right here and right there. So you'll notice it's it's firing. And I've just got to plug directly into the power supply. Okay, but what we're, we're going to do now is we're going to plug it through the transistor. So I'm going to take the, the positive end of the load that I'm using, which is this LED strip, and plug it into the positive rail right here of the 12 volts. And then I'm going to take the negative and bring it over to the middle pin of the transistor. So now what's happening is pin 13 is sending a signal to the transistor and the transistor is opening and closing the high voltage gate, basically allowing power to go to the LED strip and then come back through. And so <clears throat> I also in the sketch have pin 11 set up to do a fade uh, via PWM. So if I move this signal from pin 13 over to pin 11. Now you're going to see this is just fading in and out on and off. And so you can um, <clears throat> you can use any LED strip as long as you have a power supply. Uh, 24 volts, 12 volts um, should be just fine. The, this transistor itself, I think, maxes out at 40 volts, so at least that's what it's rated to, and then the max amperage is, is 5 amps, which is well beyond what we're actually running right now. And then one other thing that I, uh, I should note is that because we can run a lot of power through these transistors, um, we, we run the risk of... Um, of shorting out and basically running voltage back to the board and then you're gonna fry out your board. So a good thing to do is to put a resistor between the signal and the pin. I'm using a, a 1k resistor right here and it'll still send the gate voltage but then you're basically protecting the board against any sort of uh, electrical short. And so <clears throat> you can drive a motor off of this as well so let's grab, um, I think I've got a, a motor down here. Hold on a second, go grab it. All right, so this motor that I'm gonna show you is, it's a PC fan and it runs off 12 volts. So when I plug it in, See, it's doing the, the fade scene right now, just fading in and out, in and out. You can kind of hear it. But one thing to note is that when you're running a motor, what you're going to want to do is put a diode between the positive and the negative, these two right here, to ensure that you don't get any back voltage back to the board. And it's just another, another way to, to be safe about keeping your, your board uh, protected. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to send me an email um, and I'm going to try to ses uh, be there one other day this week, you know, before the interim review. And then I'm also planning on <clears throat> being in class on the th uh, up in the studio in the, the day before the review as well to help you guys wire things up or answer any final questions. Um, and so I'll, I'll see you next week. Hope this helped. Bye.